Pinkerton Hand Hygiene. Hi, my name's Sarah. I'm going to be your nurse today. Can I get your name, your date of birth, and your age? Aaron Fold, 413-90-32. Today we're going to be performing an abdominal, a neuro, and a musculoskeletal assessment. Are you okay with that? Yep. Wonderful. Aaron's appearance is appropriate for the age that he is stating. He is oriented times four as he knows his age, his name, his date of birth, where we are, our current event, all appropriate responses. His posture is good. His gait was assessed when he walked into the room, which is also good. His physical um, uh, look is no deformities or absent. His facial expressions are appropriate and his mood and affect are good. The patient is well nourished as I did a set of vitals and his uh, BMI is 20. His ability to hear and speak are within normal limits. His hygiene is clean and absent of odor. So throughout this assessment, I'm going to be assessing Aaron's skin for color, pigment, moisture, temperature, and texture, and any lesions that I should notice, I will document. Okay, um, are you ready? The first thing that we're going to assess is your cranial nerve number one. So I'll ask you to close your eyes. This is going to be a familial smell. So if you can just take a whiff of this. What is cinnamon. it? Cinnamon. And it is cinnamon. Next, we're going to check your cranial nerve number two. So you can go ahead and take your card here, place it over your right eye. I'm going to use my pen light. You let me know when the pen light comes into vision. No. Other side. No. Good. Next, we're going to check cranial nerves three, four, and six. So I will keep my pen light here. I'm going to measure his pupil size. Both of them are round, equal, and three millimeters. I'm going to check his pupil response. And that was reactive, and that pupil was reactive. So that's good. Next, we're going to check your six positions of gaze. So you're going to follow my pen light, and you're not going to move your head, just with your eyes. Good. Next, we're going to follow my pen light again, 12 inches from your face. Don't move your face at all. Just with your eyes, follow my pen light. Good. And his accommodations were um, appropriate as his eyes crossed and his pupils constricted. Next, we're gonna check cranial nerve number five, which is TMJ. So I'm gonna have you open up your jaw, move your mouth side to side for me. Any pain or tenderness with that? Oh. I don't feel any clicking, I don't feel any popping. So that's wonderful. Next, we're gonna check cranial nerve number seven. So I'm going to look at this face to make sure that it's, it is all symmetrical, which it is. I'm going to have you raise your eyebrows for me. Then I'm going to have you smile and frown and puff out your cheeks. He was able to accomplish all of those with um, no hesitation and uh, no abnormalities noticed. Next, I'm going to check cranial nerve number eight. So that's with the whisper test. So I'm going to have you cover up this ear. I'm going to say two words and then you are going to repeat them. Okay, then you're going to cover your other ear. Mashed potatoes. Mashed potatoes. Tuna fish. Tuna fish. Good. And he appropriately heard both of those and was able to respond. Okay, next we're going to check cranial nerve number nine. Okay. I'm going to use my tongue depressor and my light. You're going to stick out your tongue and say, ah. Uh. His uvula responded and it lifted to the air when he said, ah, and that is an appropriate response. Next, cranial nerve number 10, which he uh, we've been assessing the entire time because he is communicating. There's no slurring, there's no stuttering that is noted at this time. So that is appropriate. Cranial nerve number 11, so I'm gonna have you move your head from side to side and up and down, which is another way to test range of motion too within his head and neck, and that's appropriate. And then cranial nerve number 12, I'm gonna have you stick out your tongue and then move it side to side, and that is appropriate. Okay, next I'm gonna check his upper extremities. So what I'm gonna have you do is, I'm gonna test your cranial nerve number 11 again, and your sternomastoid and your trapezius muscles. I'm gonna press down up here, you're gonna press up. That was good and responsive. Next we're gonna check your stereogenesis, which is, um, you can hold out your hand, and I'm gonna put a familial um, piece of something in your hand, you're gonna close your eyes, and you're gonna tell me what it is or what it feels like. Cube. Okay. Ball. Good. 
Next, we're going to check your um, graphesia, which is uh, me writing a number within your hand and your eyes are closed. Nine. Eight. Good. Okay, next we're going to check your range of motion in your shoulders of your upper extremities. So you're going to roll them around like you're doing a helicopter. Okay, next we're going to check your abduction, which is away from you. So you're lifting up your arms over your head and you can cross them in the back and then come down and then adduction, cross them in the back towards your body like a bird. Great. Okay, next we're going to then um, check your uh, arms, your arm, let's see your arm, upper extremities, uh, range of motion so you can hold them out. And then we'll check your elbows, elbows first, so in and out. Good. And then we checked your range of motion when we lifted it over the head, so that's good. Next, we're going to bend them in like this. Good. Then your wrists up and down. Circular. Good. Then your fingers, so in, out, up, down, also the part of your wrist okay then spread your fingers apart and I'm going to try to hold them together wonderful good then we're going to do the um, uh, rapid range of alternating motion so take your fingers and press them against your thumbs as fast as you can good and that's appropriate as well so next what we're going to do is we're going to check your deltoid muscle so if you can hand like you're sitting at a desk good job okay then press up that's good Okay, then we're gonna check your pulses. So you can rest your hands down. Brachial pulses first, and then radial pulses. Perfect, okay. Then I'm going to check your reflexes. So we're gonna do your um, tricep first. Good, brachial, good. And flip your hand over, radial, good. Flip your hand over, radial, brachial, Good, and tricep, good. All responding appropriately. Okay, wonderful. Then we are going to do your, um, check your pulses. Okay, then we are going to do um, your abdomen. So what I want you to do is go ahead and lay on your back. Good, okay, just make sure. Okay, if you can come forward towards the edge of the bed just a little bit so we're in the video. Good. Okay, so the first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, just inspect. So what I'm going to inspect for is um, any lesions or abnormalities, color, temperature. It all looks good and is appropriate. So the next thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to auscultate the breath sounds in all four quadrants. And I'm listening for gurgling sounds. Sounds like you just ate. And those are present in all four quadrants. Next thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to palpate lightly. Any pain or tenderness? No. Nope. No pain or tenderness in all four quadrants. Then I'm going to um, deep palpate. Any pain, tenderness? No. Nope. Okay. Next thing I'm going to do is palpate or uh, percuss all four. Any pain or tenderness? No. Nope. Okay. Next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to auscultate for aortic, renal, iliac, and femoral breweries. Look, listening for a swishing sound. Okay, I'm check femoral. And I don't hear that at all. That is absent in, um, so no brewery at all. Okay, so the next thing that I'm gonna have you do is while you're laying, you can go ahead and put your shirt down. The next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna check the strength of your hip. So what I want you to do is relax your hip, then press up. Good, and press up again. Wonderful, okay. And then what I'm going to have you do is I'm gonna have you do a heel run. So if you can scoop back on the bed just a little bit. We're mostly on it, good. Okay, so you leave this leg straight. You're gonna take this heel, you're gonna run it from your knee down to your other foot. Okay, and then you're gonna do the same on the other side. Okay, wonderful. Then I'm gonna do your range of motion in your feet. So if you can lift your knee up and bend it, and down, and up, and down, and the other side. If the patient can do it, we want them to do it absent of assistance. Next, I'm gonna have you lift up your feet towards you and down, 
Perfect fit. Now just bend them here up and down and then spread your toes. Okay. And then in, okay. And then push your toes, try to only place your toes up and down and then do it one more time. Okay. Perfect. Then if you want to roll over onto your stomach, I'm going to check the uh, strength of your hips from behind. Okay. Press up. Good. Now I'll check the other side and press up. Good. Perfect. Now while you're, while I'm back here, you can do the same with your, with your uh, legs as well. You can lift them up at the knee and down and up and down. Good. Okay. Then go ahead and stand up. Okay. Perfect. Oh wait, just stay seated first. I'm going to check your pulses while you're seated. Okay. So I'm going to do your papateals. Good and equal. Then I'm going to do your tibial versus pedial. Both of those are equal, which is good. Okay. Okay. Then I'm going to check your reflexes while you're sitting as well. Okay. At your knee. Good. Good. And at your ankle. Good. Good. Okay. All present and equal. Go ahead and stand up now. Okay. We're going to do the wrong bird, which is cranial nerve eight. If you can step out, I'm going to have you balance on one foot. Okay. Then the other side. We did test cranial nerve number eight previously and he passed. So this is just an extra way to, ch uh, to check it. Okay. Then what I'm going to have you do is walk away from me on your heels and then come back on your tippy toes. Okay. Then walk away from me, touching your heel toe, heel toe, touching your heel. Yep. In a line. Perfect. Just like you're walking an imaginary line. Wonderful. And then you can come back. Okay. Then what I want you to do is face that way, but bend straight down so I can see the curvature of your spine. It is midline and it is straight, which is good. And that's what we're checking for. Perfect. Okay. So then while you're standing up, take a deep breath, let it out. Now slightly bend over again and I want you to rotate from side to side. Okay. Now try not to do your hips. Just okay, then to the other side. There you go. Perfect. Go ahead and stand up slowly again. Wonderful. Any lightheaded pain with that? Nope. Wonderful. Okay, that completes our assessment today.